Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Base. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Today we're going to explore the basic syntax and structure of Java programming. Understanding these fundamentals is crucial for writing efficient and error-free Java code. So let's dive right in. Here's what we'll be covering in today's video. Introduction to Java, basic Java program structure, syntax elements, data types and variables, operators, control statements, methods, summary, Q&A. Stick around until the end and we'll answer any questions you might have. Let's get started. What is Java? Java is a high-level, class-based, object-oriented programming language. It is designed to have as few implementation dependencies as possible, making it a versatile and powerful tool for developers. Why learn Java syntax and structure? Learning Java syntax and structure is essential because it forms the foundation for understanding and writing Java programs. Mastering these basics is crucial for progressing to more advanced Java concepts and becoming a proficient Java developer. Let's start with the basic structure of a Java program. Every Java program consists of the following components. Class declaration. Defines a new class. Main method. The entry point for the program. Example. Here's a simple Java program that prints Hello World to the console. Public class Hello World. Public static void main string args. System.out.println. Hello World. In this example, public class Hello World defines a public class named Hello World. Public static void main string args is the main method where the program execution begins. System.out.println. Hello World prints the text to the console. Next, let's discuss some key syntax elements in Java. Braces used to define a block of code. Everything inside a pair of braces belongs to that block. Semicolon marks the end of a statement. Every executable statement must end with a semicolon. Comments single line starts with forward slash forward slash multi-line starts with slash asterisk and ends with asterisk forward slash. Java has several primitive data types and ways to declare variables. Primitive data types. Int. Integer values. Byte. Byte values. Short. Short integer values. Long. Long integer values. Float. Floating point values. Double. Double precision floating point values. Char. Single characters. Boolean. Boolean values. True or false. Variable declaration. Here's how you can declare variables in Java. Int age equals 25. String name equals John. In this example, int age equals 25 declares an integer variable named age and initializes it with a value 25. String name equals John declares a string variable named name and initializes it with the value John. Operators in Java allow you to perform various operations on variables and values. They are divided into several categories. Arithmetic operators. Plus, addition. Subtraction. Asterisk. Multiplication. Slash. Division. Percent modulus. Relational operators. Equals equals equal to. Equals not equal to. Greater than. Less than equals greater than or equal to equals less than or equal to logical operators and and logical and logical or logical not control statements in java allow you to control the flow of your program conditional statements if one-way branching statement false two-way branching statement switch multiple way branching statement loops for loop while loop and do while loop. We will demonstrate all these control structures with simple examples. Moving towards the methods. Methods in Java are blocks of code that perform a specific task. Here's how you can declare and use methods. Method declaration. The syntax for declaring a method is return type method name, parameters, body of the method, example, public int add, int a, int b. Return a plus b. In this example, 
public indicates that the method is accessible from other classes. Int is the return type, meaning the method returns an integer value. Add is the method name. Int a int b are parameters passed to the method. Return a plus b returns the sum of a and b. Now we will demonstrate all these basic syntax and structure of Java programming one by one practically. Here we are using Notepad++ as an IDE and run our programs on command prompt. Let's define a class named Demo1. Now save the program as Demo1.java. Keywords will be highlighted when we save the program. Now we define main method which is a starting point of any Java program. By using system.out.println we can display any message on console or output screen. Let's compile and run this program. To compile we use java c command which is java compiler and to run the program java command we use. Our code compiles fine and demo1.class file or bytecode generated which we run and here we see the output as welcome message on console screen. Next we see how to define and initialize variable with respective data type. Here n is a variable of int type. Now we see how conditional statements works in Java. Here we find n is even or not using if else. Modulus operator used here to find remainder and double equal to used for comparison. And print the message on console accordingly. Now we may compile and run our program and see the output. One more example of conditional statements we see here. We find n is positive, negative or zero by using if else and else if latter. Let's run our program and see the output. Now let's move towards the switch case which is multiple way branching statement. Here we program to display a digit to word or its spelling.
An error if input is not a single digit. For that we use default case. Break is used here to go outside of switch case. And here is the output. Now moving towards the loops. First we see for loop. Same syntax like C, C++ used in Java as well. In this example we display the table of n using for loop. And here is the output. Now same program we will do by using while and do while loop. While is an entry controlled loop whereas do while is an exit controlled loop. Before loop starts we must initialize the counter variable and update it within the loop so that we can come out from the loop otherwise it will loop infinite times. Let's run. While runs minimum zero times whereas do while runs at least once. Here in this code we will implement logical operator and this program prints result as distinction, first class, second class, pass class or fail from the percentage. Logical operators are used to connect two or more conditions where logical and results true if both the conditions true otherwise false. Logical or results true if either of the condition will be true. And here is the output for different percentages. Finally moving towards the methods. Here we define a method named result having one int parameter for taking percentage and without returning any value. Here as main is a static method we must declare result as static as well, because from static main we can't call any non-static method. Second way to call a non-static result method from static main method is create an object of the class demo1 and call result method by using object. And here is the output.
Let's recap what we covered in this video. Basic structure of a Java program. Key syntax elements and their usage. Variable declaration and data types. Operators and control statements. Writing and using methods. Now I'd like to open the floor for any questions you might have. Feel free to ask anything related to today's topic, and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for attending. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more Java tutorials. Subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge with the knowledge base. Thank you.